What's going on everyone? Banks IQ here from playbook.gg. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to block 146 in a variety of different ways and formations. Now, if this is your first time checking out our channel and you want to win more games playing Madden, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also the bell icon so you never miss any of our videos. All right, so to start it off, we're going to start out in tight slots, halfback weak, and we'll also show you bunch and then it, and we'll show you trips tight end on how to block it as well. Which is, in my opinion, the three most popular formations out there in Madden right now. So, we'll be using those for our example. Um, basically, we'll call any play in tight slots, and I'll show you guys how to do the blocking. First, we're going to set up the blitz. So, basically, it's a we're setting the entire team, right? Um, most people will do is if you haven't watched our 146 video yet, make sure you go check that out. Um, really good detail for that. What people will do is they'll set it up like this, right? And they'll man up the running back to dumb them out. However, this is how you counter that. If they are setting the five minute, oh actually hang on, I need to make sure I bring in this guy. Both corners need to be in contained blitzes like that, for obviously for the blitz to work the best. Uh, how, this is a very, very, very simple way to counter this. All you have to do is double team the center and ID the side of the running back. So this is like, this would be like step one of it per se, I guess you could say. Uh, let me show my play art. So basically what happens is by double teaming the center, you're, you're telling your left tackle that he is one on one essentially with two people and your running back when you ID it won't get dumbed out and he will block him flawlessly. However, if you don't block your tight end here when you do the double team tactic, then that right side corner will come in a very, very often. Uh, and that's honestly the same for a lot of formations. This is a very universal style um, and very, very good for if you have a tight end on one side, like a tight end on the offensive line and then running back on the opposite side of the tight end. And this works very, very well. That way you don't have to worry about uh, what some people will call a five-man variation of this. So yeah, I've double teamed the center. I've ID'd that blitzing corner. As you can see right here, this is the popular 146 setup. So I'm gonna snap the ball and watch. He's gonna get blocked really well. And another thing also, um, if you click on your running back when you snap the ball, I don't know that it's for sure proven that it, they block better, but you'll see all the high level players doing this as well. And me personally, I feel like they block better just by clicking onto them. I feel like they just more aware per se. Uh, I mean, that could be sort of one of those uh, mind games, I guess. But yeah, watch how Tevin Coleman, you see how he doesn't get um, whatever, he doesn't dumb out whatsoever, and you get tons of protection that's the really really hard one four six splits that so many people struggle to block as you can see right there we just had all day in the pocket we had all day um to have our protection as you see right there same exact setup right we're blitzing both corners we're blitzing both oh, we're blitzing our other linebacker as well and then and say i mean someone's using the uh linebacker right so that's why i have my control on that same thing double team ID and you're good to go and have your running have your uh, tight end blocking you know you can do whatever route combination you want and you're gonna get flawless blocking look at that perfect look at that what, what's that five seconds four seconds right there I mean that's fantastic especially in regs now we'll show you another way how to do this what you can do is you can max protect actually I'll show you this out a bunch all right guys so for bunch uh, we actually made a tutorial a little while ago how to if you haven't seen that yet uh it's titled the best way to counter the blitz this is actually how you chop block this is a little different way uh it actually works the same um mechanically wise for the concept you're trying to achieve a bunch uh, what you want to do is you just want to max protect and bunch and you want to slide your offensive line away from your running back like I said, all these setups I'm showing you guys are completely universal. You can do this from a bunch of formations as long as you have a tight end and a running back on the offensive line. Well, obviously the running back's not on the offensive line, but the tight end is lined up in a blocking spot on the line. So we'll shift. Well, that's actually my defense controller. Uh, we're going to slide our offense to the line protection to the right, and we're going to ID this opposite blitzing cornerback. Now I'm going to make sure I set the defense right. Bring this guy in. Um, I, I'll, I'll literally I'll show you guys it as well. Um, you know, we're there. Man him up, just as if the linebackers aren't in the gap. Just so I can show you guys a bunch of different varieties of how this works. Uh, max protect. You can do whatever route combination you want. Slide away and ID the backside blitzing corner. Essentially, what this is going to do is it's going to shift your offensive line to the right, allowing that cornerback to come in completely free. 
but since you have him ID'd and you made an offensive line adjustment, the running back has a lot more awareness and more, I guess, aware of who you're actually blocking. ID him and watch the running back. Actually, most of the time will chop block him. If not, they'll stand him up very, very well. As you see right there, he chop blocks him. Um, then you can just throw the ball wherever you would like. That's a very, very effective way you can do it in chop for uh, chop blocking and bunch. If you don't want to double team, I'll show you guys that again. Like that. As you see right there, defense is set up. Man the guy up on the running back for the user. And max protect, slide right. ID this way. And you can do this in tight slots. You can do this in, uh, you kind of can do this in trips, but not, it, it's a little more different. I'll show you guys that in a minute. And this is just a universal setup. Any uh, sort of tight end running back package that are on the offensive line, you can get this to work very, very well. And you'll get flawless blocking. Look at that. Chops them. And you're good. I mean, it, it's very, very simple. Just, you just have to be smart because the last thing you want is uh, for them to overload one side and have like a completely like a blitzer coming completely free. So you just have to be kind of aware of that. All right. So the final way that you can block 146. I mean, there's a couple other ways. So the final video you can do uh, way I'm gonna show you guys in this video is how to double team the end and then ID that same corner, and that will allow you to get very very good protection as well. So I set the 146 right here. This will be shown case out of gun doubles. So it's meant the user on the running back like that. So basically what happens is all you want to do is double team the corner or double team the outside end right here and ID the blitzing corner right there, which basically just allows um, your lineman to actually block that guy and then you're running back. Basically the concept, same principle, there we are willingly, willingly allowing that blitzing corner back to come in free so our running back will block him and he will block him because we're IDing him. If you don't ID him, then he'll dumb out and you're against it's act. So like I said, out of gun doubles and let's go ahead and stop the ball. Right there, see the running back chop blocks him beautifully and you, you get all the time in the world. <laughs> I love pocket fumbles. Yeah, I mean, this is just, it's a very, very simple way to do this. You, you can do all these blocking um, ways Definitely play around with them just so you can guys get a good feel for them for sure. But every single one in here can be Im implemented for every single formation as long as the tight end and the running back are opposite of each other. And it's just really just universal concepts, which is why I feel like this is such an important video because I've had so many people ask me, you know, how do you block 146? Well, here's obviously four great ways you can do it. Block it, double team him, I do the outside corner, and look at that. What's that? Where are we at? Five seconds, six seconds. You basically, this is, you're just not going to get sacked by the corner as if you block it properly. Um, obviously, of course, you know, there's a lot of food that goes on, but essentially, this should allow you guys to have really, really good protection going forward. Now, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you check out these videos below for the most helpful Madden tips. If you're looking to learn from the best players in the world, Head over to www.playbook.gg for the most detailed game plans in Madden.